169, same means we got shots fired at 415 AS. Uh, From our L.A. Bureau tonight, counterterror expert Aaron Cohen with me. And Aaron, good evening to you on the West Coast. What, what would explain as to why um, you don't have a hard drive and a laptop inside that room? Well, Bill, I can tell you from, from my experience in the intelligence business that we would destroy a hard drive if we were conducting an operation and we didn't want to have any uh, uh, circuitry fingerprint, any type of email fingerprint, any type of web browsing fingerprint. Oh, essentially what it does is it erases any potential findings to a motive. It destroys the mosaic or the composition of the mosaic completely. Um, as to why Stephen Paddock wouldn't want to have that in there, it's just, to me, again, it's bizarre, and the reason why is we know that he was the one who committed the murder. We know he was the mass shooter. Uh, all I can glean from this uh, is, is that he didn't want any of the events leading up to the shooting and what caused the shooting to be public knowledge. But again, it doesn't really make sense. You know, the guy went out, he opened fire, you know, uh, 500 people injured, over 50 people killed. So, you know, it fits the modus operandi mm -hmm. or the M.O. of a potential... Um, organized assassin, but yet it doesn't make sense so because much of it, he never so took much off, of it he didn't leave, make sense. he's there. Uh, Aaron, is there evidence that he erased his other digital footprint on other computers or went back and made a deliberate effort to, to hide any of that or to delete it? The, my, my contacts in Las Vegas, um, from who I've spoken to, and they've been very tight-lipped about this, obviously, because it's an ongoing investigation. From the people that I've spoken to, uh, everything leading to any kind of digital footprint seems to have gone missing. In this particular case, it's his laptop, but we also know that the home was broken into, or his house was broken into, or somebody entered the house uh, at some point, which was, uh, uh, which I believe is public at this point right now. But, but so he had... It just, there was a lot of... Yeah, uh, the, the home was broken into when? A after, after the massacre. Yeah, so it's after after the massacre. So again, it's like there just seems to be a lot of pe a lot of things that have been put into motion to try and destroy any bit of understanding of what this guy's um, uh, intention might have been. What leading up to whether it was him flipping out, some kind of delusion or psychological breakdown, uh, whether there was money problems that he was have that he was having, uh, you know. So. It, it, everything that I'm, I'm seeing here, it, it, it just doesn't fit with the yeah, modus and, and operandi of the profile and, of the far shooter. Far be it for us to understand why a killer does something like this and plans and plots and carries it out the way he does. But th there was another Absolutely. home up in Reno that they found, right? And, and there were apparently, reportedly, numerous uh, technology devices that were found inside there. I, I just have to think there are answers out there. But as to why we don't know, that is still a mystery to me tonight. Can you, can you even try to fill in those blanks, Aaron? Bill, I'm going to do so. I'm going to do so cautiously. I, I've, I work closely with the, I've worked closely with law enforcement for the last 15 years. There's, there's been some conspiracy floating around. I'm not going to go there because it just doesn't make sense. And the reason why is I can tell you, I, I, I know cops too well. Yeah, they, I, they can't I, keep listen, their mouths closed. I, I don't want you know? theory. I don't want theory, by the way. I, I want to know if, if you're able, through your sources in Las Vegas, to piece this together for us tonight because it's been a long time without answers and and killers like this don't act this way they usually leave a footprint because they want the attention or, or or they die for some some crazy cause that they want to draw attention to now how do you Correct. how do you process that well it, it, uh, very slowly, and the osmosis process is very, very thorough at this point. My processing is we need to give law enforcement more time to continue investigating. Here's the reason why. Even though the uh, server's gone missing, even though the, uh, the internal hardware of that computer was taken out, every email lands somewhere, Bill. And those emails, regardless of whether or not we don't know what was said in them from where they came from, they landed on somebody else's email server. They went through an actual server process, which landed at a recipient's email. And that's what law enforcement would be looking at right now. That's what we'd be looking at in Israel right now if this was a terrorism attack, so we could prevent the further attack. And in order to prevent the next paddock who's, who was triggered by something, Bill, and let me say that again, there was a trigger. There had to have been a trigger. You don't just kill 50 people randomly. That is a fact. However, what the trigger was, we don't know. And I just think Slow trigger, we need to continue he to be patient. To, 
Correct. Slow trigger because he prepped for it, but he did a lot of prep for it, which leads me to believe that this had to have been festering for some period of time. And I believe that with enough patience, we're going to start to see more colors with this. Gotcha. Last point here, though. You're trying to make it clear to us, based on your experience, that sometimes easy answers take a while. And to follow the digital footprint, um, in this case, an elusive footprint, it's going to take some time. Do we just have to accept that? I believe we do have to accept it, Bill, and I think you, I think you teed that up exactly, exactly what the rea in terms of what the reality of this case is. You have uh, a specific individual who went to a specific place for a specific reason, but the motive is going to take quite some time to unravel because for whatever reason, this individual uh, has come prepared in terms of not being able to crack the investigation easily. So patience, investigating, the FBI is probably the top tier investigating agency in the world, if not in the history of crime. Let them sink, keep this sinking their teeth into this and they're going to get more answers. And so I think we just need to be okay. patient and let this thing unravel in due time. It could be hard for the victims, right? I'm sure you can understand that. Aaron, thanks Absolutely. for your time tonight. Absolutely. Aaron Cohen, they're live in thanks Los so Angeles. Much, Great to have you on. Thank you.